Hello there. I'm Ray, your guide for today's virtual journey. Welcome to Maharashtra, a state known for its rich history, diverse culture, and vibrant lifestyle. Located in the Western Peninsula region of India, Maharashtra is a treasure trove of experiences waiting to be explored. From the bustling cityscapes of Mumbai to the serene landscapes of the Western Ghats, it offers an intriguing blend of tradition and modernity. This state is home to a myriad of ethnic groups, each contributing to its cultural tapestry. And not to forget Maharashtra's culinary delights that are as diverse as its people. The Marathi literature and cinema, the folk arts and crafts, the festivals and celebrations all add to the unique charm of this state. Today, we're embarking on a journey to explore the seven must-visit places in this magnificent state. So buckle up as we explore the heart and soul of Maharashtra, the land of the Marathas. Our first stop is the Gateway of India, the symbol of Mumbai. An emblem of the city's historical richness, it stands tall, overlooking the Arabian Sea. The Gateway of India, built in the early 20th century, commemorates the landing of King George V and Queen Mary, marking the first visit of a British monarch to India. The design is a harmonious blend of Hindu and Muslim architectural styles, with an arch standing at a magnificent 83 feet high. The intricate latticework and carvings on the basalt rock structure are a testament to the skills of the craftsmen of that era. The Gateway of India has borne witness to many significant historical events, including the departure of the last British troops in 1948, symbolizing the end of British rule and the dawn of India's independence. From the majestic arches to the panoramic sea view, the Gateway of India truly welcomes you to the spirit of Mumbai. Next on our list are the Ajanta and Ellora Caves, the epitome of ancient Indian art. Delving into the heart of Maharashtra, we find ourselves mesmerized by the awe-inspiring Ajanta and Ellora Caves. These caves are not just hollowed out spaces in the rocks, but they are canvases where the past has painted its tales with deft strokes. Imagine this, artisans of yesteryears armed with rudimentary tools, chiseling away at solid rock to create intricate carvings, detailed paintings and stunning sculptures. It's a testament to their skill and dedication that these works of art have withstood the test of time and continue to enthrall visitors today. The Ajanta and Elora Caves are not just a collection of 34 and 29 caves respectively, they are a journey through time. They are a testament to the artistic genius of the ancient dwellers of this land. The caves are a treasure trove of Buddhist, Jain and Hindu art, with each cave having its unique narrative and artistic style. From the depictions of the Jataka tales in the Ajanta Caves, to the monumental Kailasa Temple carved out of a single rock in Ellora, each carving, each sculpture, each painting speaks volumes about the rich cultural and religious diversity of ancient India. In recognition of their outstanding universal value, the Ajanta and Ellora Caves were conferred the status of UNESCO World Heritage Sites in the 1980s. This prestigious recognition has helped preserve these ancient masterpieces and has brought them to the attention of the world. Today, they stand as a beacon, drawing in curious minds and art enthusiasts from across the globe, eager to witness the grandeur of ancient Indian art. As we move from one cave to another, we can't help but marvel at the sheer craftsmanship and the profound thought that has gone into every detail. The caves are a living testament to the rich cultural heritage of India, a heritage that has been etched in stone for eternity. Indeed, these caves are a testimony to the rich cultural heritage of India, etched in stone for eternity. Let's now move to the serene hills of Mahabaleshwar. Nestled in the Western Ghats, this hill station is a haven of scenic beauty. Imagine breathing in the crisp, clean air while admiring the panoramic vistas of lush green valleys and cascading waterfalls. Don't forget to visit the numerous strawberry farms that dot the landscape. Mahabaleshwar is renowned for its succulent strawberries and you can even pick your own during the harvesting season. 
The taste of a freshly plucked Mahabaleshwar strawberry is an experience you don't want to miss. The balmy weather adds to the charm of this place, making it a year-round destination. Whether you're seeking tranquility or adventure, there's no shortage of things to do. From trekking trails to captivating viewpoints like Arthur's Seat and Elephant's Head Point, every corner is a delightful surprise. From nature lovers to foodies, Mahabaleshwar offers something for everyone. So what are you waiting for? Let's continue our exploration of Maharashtra's treasures. Our next stop is the twin hill stations of Lonavala and Kandala. Nestled amidst the Sayadri range, these hill stations are a haven for nature lovers and adventurers alike. Imagine winding roads lined with verdant greenery, punctuated by gushing waterfalls. That's Lonavala and Kandala for you. These places are not just about natural beauty, they also house ancient forts like Lohagad and Visapur, whispering tales of bravery from the past. Climbing these forts is an adventure in itself. But what's a visit to Lonavala without sampling its famous chiki? Made from jaggery and groundnuts, this sweet snack is a must-try. And if you have a soft spot for chocolate, don't forget the creamy chocolate fudge that will leave you craving for more. Whether it's adventure or relaxation, Lonavala and Kandala offer the perfect getaway. With their scenic beauty and mouth-watering delicacies, they are a treat for all the senses. Next, we head to the holy town of Shirdi, the abode of Sai Baba. This serene place is steeped in devotion and is one of the most significant pilgrimage sites in India, drawing in millions of devotees each year. The heart of Shirdi is the Sai Baba Temple, a revered shrine that houses the Samadhi, or burial site of Sai Baba. This spiritual powerhouse is a place of solace for many, vibrating with an energy that resonates with every devotee who steps foot in this temple. Here, rituals are a daily affair, each one carrying a profound significance. From the morning Kakad Aati to the night Shej Aati, the temple is a whirlwind of devotional activities. But Shirdi is more than just rituals and rites. It is the teachings of Sai Baba that make this town so special. Sai Baba, a saint revered by both Hindus and Muslims, preached love, forgiveness, charity and contentment. His teachings, simple yet profound, transcend religious boundaries, echoing a universal message of love and peace. Devotees who come to Shirdi often speak of a transformative experience. They talk about a sense of peace that envelops them, a feeling of being connected to something larger than themselves. Many believe that visiting Shirdi is a journey of self-discovery, a chance to reflect on one's life and find inner peace. And indeed, Shirdi is a town where faith and spirituality intertwine, where prayers echo through the air and devotion permeates every corner. It's a place where you can see the true essence of faith in the hopeful eyes of the devotees in the reverberating chants, and in the serene silence that follows the Aarti. It's a place that makes you believe in the power of faith, the strength of devotion, and the transformative power of spirituality. So, if you're seeking a spiritual retreat, a place to introspect, or simply an experience that will touch your soul, Shirdi is the place to be. Shirdi is not just a place of worship, but a journey into spirituality, and faith. And with that, we come to the end of our journey. Our expedition began at the majestic gateway of India, an iconic emblem of Mumbai and a symbol of its rich history. The grandeur of this monument, standing tall against the backdrop of the Arabian Sea, is a sight to behold. It's a place where the old and the new coexist, a testimony to the city's ever-evolving spirit. From there, we ventured into the heart of Maharashtra's heritage, the Ajanta and Elora Caves. These ancient rock-cut caves, adorned with intricate carvings and breathtaking frescoes, tell tales of bygone eras. A visit to these UNESCO World Heritage Sites is like stepping back in time, immersing oneself in the narrative of our ancestors. Our next stop was Mahabaleshwar, a serene hill station nestled in the Western Ghats. This place is a paradise for nature lovers, with its panoramic views, verdant landscapes, and enticing strawberry farms. The cool mountain air, 
the whispering winds and the mesmerizing views make it a perfect retreat from the hustle and bustle of city life. We then moved on to the twin hill stations of Lonavala and Kandala, renowned for their scenic beauty and delectable chikis. These places are a haven for adventure enthusiasts, offering an array of outdoor activities and treks amid the lush greenery and misty hills. Our journey concluded at the sacred town of Shirdi, the abode of Sai Baba. The aura of spirituality and tranquility that pervades this place is truly uplifting. It's a testament to the power of faith and the timeless teachings of Sai Baba that continue to guide countless lives. Each of these places has its own unique charm, reflecting the diverse cultural tapestry of Maharashtra. This expedition has merely scratched the surface of what this magnificent state has to offer. There is so much more to explore, to experience, to immerse oneself in. So, here's an invitation to embark on your own journey of exploration. Discover the hidden gems of Maharashtra, delve into its rich heritage and revel in its natural beauty. Create your own stories, your own memories. This is Ray, signing off. Until next time, keep exploring.